Yeah, this here writing thing on the computer is getting to be problematic until I can get these things taken care of. The getting the new eyeball thing. And it's not the whole eyeball, it's just the lens. So I'm going to talk. Um, it's been an interesting couple of days. A lot of memories. Um, a lot of fire memories. But also, and I don't know quite how to, how to, like, do this on video. Uh, but it's that emotion when you know that you're getting this shit scared out of you. And you come home and you, the ones who love you, whether it be a woman, man, I don't know, I mean, the ones that really give a shit, um, take you in their arms and heal you. As many of you know, I'm a complete outlander geek. Uh, I am unapologetic. Uh, and I think one reason is because I've done a lot of living history. Uh, and I really have always tried to put my head there. I haven't always succeeded. And sometimes it just was completely impossible. But I have been there, right? And I got clothes that look like the clothes... Uh, when I watch the show, I, I'm a geek about both the show and the um, writing of, of Diana Gabaldon. I, I, I don't know how to pronounce her name. I'd love to meet her, but anyway. Uh, I, and I like to do what I've kind of do. I mean, I've read these damn things uh, four times. Uh, and we'll, write them, we'll read them again. This is what I'm studying. You know, as an old man, I just... Uh, I gotta have something to do <laughs> other than playing music, which is getting harder. And, and and so storytelling is really coming to the fore. Is what I want to do, but um, in both the writing of the the what I think is like an epic poem, tone poem of you know <laughs> what's nine times nine hundred. What's 10 times 900? That's 9,000 pages. Okay, let's go about 8,020. I don't know, whatever. Um, I really, I really believe this. Uh, I also, because it, it is much, um, I finally discovered who a lot of my family, what their origins actually are. I've been working on this for a couple of years. It's something I do. Uh, let me get this out of my face. Anyway. Yeah, I, I can't wait till those parts get long enough to go behind the ears. Then I can tie the whole thing up. But um, the story of this area that we're lucky enough to live in. We're on the, we were on the western edge of it. A lot of what, what I know Outlander addresses is actually what Nancy's family... When it was still over in the Galax, um, Independence, that area, because it not that wasn't much there. It, it, I mean, revolutionary times. It was the Montgomery County, I believe, and and, and Nancy's five times great grandfather was a lieutenant in the militia. <laughs> it looks like he was also Thornton <laughs> Spencer's five times great grandfather, which <laughs> all of a sudden makes. My love of the White Top Mountain Band, uh, even deeper. Let's just put it that way. But anyway, I was thinking back, and this is, I guess, the crux of this um, story, which is what I'm doing. I'm telling stories. But I was on a, I was on a fire. Uh, four of us were the last crew at the top. We were at 11,000 feet. If you ever tried to <laughs> work... 11,000 feet. Um, it's interesting. We could see Mount Whitney there at Sequoia National Park. And it had been a nasty fire. When firefighters get killed, it's in batches. It's crews. It's 20 guys at a time. And we know that. Um, well, this wasn't that much, that deal. We were up putting out spots and camped. Well, make long story short, uh, a lightning bust came in, and it was like being in an, an artillery barrage for uh, two days. We were supposed to come out, and then they couldn't fly into us to get us out. There no way we were walking off that mountain. Um, 
And so we hunkered down. And in the process of a day and a half, we had one guy actually kind of lose it. And uh, we had to tackle him and kind of hold him down because he'd had a friend killed on a ridgetop in mountaineering. This was out in uh, California in the Sequoias. Um, and we all kind of did that weird thing that you do where we all said, well, if, if it gets me, uh, you could have my dog. Or, you know, I got a truck, uh, but it wasn't funny. Well, anyway, I came back, and I won't, I won't say her name. It was the girl, the Park Service uh, employee, and I was as well. I was fighting fire for Sequoia. And she was my girlfriend. And it was maybe one of the, the real times I felt that I'm going to take care of you, boy, because we all been listening to what's going on. And um, it's really good to have you home. I hope everyone not, I don't, I don't suggest you have to go through that, but that's, that is a feeling. And, and uh, Memorial Day for this re uh, some reason, like I said, I, I never served active duty, but I, I chased fire for the federal government for a number of years and for state and local. But uh, that's the one that came to mind. I guess when I figured I'd talk, that would be what I'd talk about. So, take care of yourselves. This is the old ranger from Buffalo Gap, Southwest Virginia, Wise County. Yeah, take care of yourselves. Be well. Be kind. And hold fast. Slanjava.